Daniel chapter 10. The man in white linen appears to Daniel. In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, I, Daniel, known as Belteshazzar, received a profound word, a true revelation, but I struggled to understand it. Finally, its interpretation was disclosed to me in a vision, and I began to understand the word. At that time, I was in a period of mourning for three weeks. During the entire three weeks, I ate no delicacies, no meat, and no sweets. I drank no wine, nor did I groom myself. On the 24th day of the first month, I had a vision while I was standing on the bank of the great Tigris River. I opened my eyes to look about me, and I saw a man approaching who was robed in white linen and wearing a belt of pure gold. His body was like a glowing gemstone, his face shining as bright as lightning. His eyes were blazing like fiery torches. His arms and legs were gleaming like polished bronze. And the sound of his voice was thunderous like the roar of a multitude. Although others were present, I was the only one who experienced this open vision. Yet it was so real that it terrified those who were with me. And they ran away to hide. I found myself alone, gazing on the astounding vision. I was left stunned and powerless. My appearance, my appearance was altered beyond recognition. And what little strength I had deserted me. Daniel's dialogue with an angel. As soon as the angel began to speak to me, I fell unconscious with my face to the ground, as in a coma. Then I felt a powerful hand grip me and help me to my hands and knees. I was trembling with fear. He said, Daniel, you are greatly loved and a precious treasure to God. Now stand up and understand the words that I'm about to say, for God has sent me to you. So I rose to my feet, still shaking like a leaf. He reassured me by saying, Daniel, don't be afraid, for I have come to bring to you the answer to your prayer. From the first day you sought, to understand the revelation and humble yourself before God, your words were heard in heaven. However, for the past 21 days, the principality over the kingdom of Persia stood to oppose and resist me. Then Michael, one of the chief princes of heaven, came to my assistance. I was left there confronting the king of Persia. Now I have come to help. You comprehend what will happen to your people in the final days. For the vision pertains to a time still to come. Upon hearing these words, I bowed face down and was left speechless. Then suddenly, one who looked like a man touched my lips, and I was finally able to speak. So I said to the one standing in front of me, My Lord, this vision has left me overcome undone and I'm overwhelmed. I feel totally weak and helpless. My Lord, how can I, your servant, even talk to you? I have no strength and I can barely ca catch my breath. Once again, the one who looked like a man gripped me and imparted strength into me. He said to me, be strong, be very, very strong. Do not be afraid for you are greatly loved and a precious treasure to God. God's peace is yours. As he spoke these words, I felt strength pour into me. And I said, Now I'm ready to listen to you, my Lord, for you have given me strength. Then he said, Don't you know why I've come to you? I will unveil to you what is written in the book of truth. But first I want you to know that there is none who fights alongside me against these forces of darkness, except Michael, your people's prince. In the first year that Darius the Mede was king, I stood up to support Michael and fight with him against the prince of Persia. Now I am about to go back and fight the principality with him. Once we have defeated him, the principality over Greece will come next.